My name's Hygieia, minor planet, designation 10 Hygieia, a door planet candidate in the asteroid belt, it's nice to meet ya. Discovered by Annibale de Gasparisa, on the 12th of April in 1849 I did teach ya. Discovered at the Astronomical Observatory of Caparamonte is where I was first seen. I'm located in the main asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where I am felt I do have a diameter of 270 miles Or 434 kilometers all the while I have a mass which is 3% of the total mass of the asteroid belt And the fourth largest asteroid by volume and mass in your system dealt It's possible I'm a dwarf planet but no one knows for sure So the IAU has classified me as an asteroid until they're assured Observations with a very large telescope in 2018 revealed that I'm nearly spherical in which I'm so keen I have a dark surface when observed from the Earth This is because of my position in in the outer main belt, of course. I was named Hygieia after the goddess of health, which is a Greek goddess as well as Roman, I tell. It takes me 2,033 Earth days to orbit the sun at 16.76 kilometers per second. I come as close as 2.79 AU to the sun on my run and reaching as far as 3.49 AU from the sun. I'm 1.78 AU from Earth's orbit at my closest point. There's an extremely wide berth between Hygieia and Earth is my point. Hygieia's small main belt asteroid spectroscopic survey is observed with the 2.4 meter Hiltner telescope primarily. This mass 2 observation indicates I may contain water and iron but wait. Also nickel, ammonia, cobalt, and nitrogen. That's a lot of new information about me for the win. My properties are the least known out of the big four objects in the main belt humans have explored. My name is Four Vesta, the asteroid, one of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt, please enjoy. The asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter, I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene. I was discovered by German astronomer Hendrik Olbers, and that is for sure, in the month of March in 1807, when looking I was named Vesta after the Roman goddess of home and hearth. It was easy and flawless. I was named by the famous mathematician called Frederick Gauss. He was such a vision. I am one of the largest objects you should know. In the asteroid belt is where I glow. The asteroid belt is located roughly between the orbits of This is the second largest known asteroid by both mass and by volume. That's knowledge to enjoy. I'm the second largest two dwarf planet series. The closest dwarf to the sun in your solar system C. My mean diameter is 525 kilometers or 326 miles if the metric system's unfamiliar. I'm the brightest asteroid that is visible from Earth, but not quite a dwarf. I guess I need some worker at a distance of 220 million kilometers from the planet of Earth. For what that is worth, NASA's Dawn spacecraft entered orbit around me in the year of 2011, July the 16th. Dawn stayed for a one year exploration and left my orbit when it reached its completion on the 5th of September in 2012. I hope you Asteroids in the asteroid belt from biggest to smallest, their names are spelled Ceres, Vesta, Paulus, and Hygieia. That's enough about me, yeah, I guess I will see ya. My name is Four Vesta, the asteroid, one of the largest. 
largest asteroids in the asteroid belt. Please enjoy. The asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter. I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene. Here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see. Asteroid, meteoroid, and comets, and some wood stages between. These different celestial bodies are important to learn. We're all part of this universe. Let's give these space rocks their turn. I'm an asteroid, also called a minor planet to some. A rocky, airless remnant left over from our solar system's formation. You can find a lot of asteroids orbiting our sun. Between Mars and Jupiter, within the asteroid belt I run. I can range in size from about 320 nine miles down to 33 feet small i've been here for a while i'm made up of different kinds of rocks and some have clays and metals such as nickel and iron found in frying pans or kettles here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see asteroid meteoroid and comets and some wood stages between these different celestial bodies are important to learn we're all part of this universe let's give these space rocks their turn. I'm a meteoroid. I'm smaller than an asteroid you see. My size can range from a grain of dust to a small asteroid. Yeah, that is me. I orbit the sun. I'm made of minerals called silicates, which is silicone and oxygen. I'm glad that you're learning this. I'm also made of heavier metals like nickel and iron. Let's go explore a little more about what other names I can become. If I enter Earth's atmosphere, you'll see a bright tail of light if this happens and i vaporize i'm called a meteor that's right some call me a shooting or falling star i'm only called a meteor if i burn up completely it's bizarre but if i make it through the atmosphere and reach the earth's surface my name changes to meteorite that is important to learn this i'm a comet which is does mix with frozen gas when fully frozen i'm about the size of a small town through space I do pass I'm made of ices like water carbon dioxide ammonia and methane mixed with cosmic dust from our solar system when it began when I get close to the Sun I heat up and spew dust and gas this forms a glowing tail that stretches away from the Sun as I pass a cloud forms around my nucleus from my vaporizing ice this is called a coma it can expand 50,000 miles and it looks nice my tail that form can expand past 600,000 miles thank you for learning about all of us I hope we made you smile here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see asteroid meteoroid and comets and some wood stages between these different celestial bodies are important to learn we're all part of this universe let's give these space rocks their turn we're the five of the solar system in order from the sun we're the five dwarf planets according to the iau we're the only ones my name is ceres i'm the smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun I'm the largest object in the asteroid belt Between Mars and Jupiter I run Scientists think my bright spots are salty deposits Made of sodium carbonate and ammonium chloride I'm the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system And my surface is completely dry Hello, I'm Pluto, I used to be the ninth planet In the solar system planetary mix But when Eries was discovered it had 27% more mass The IAU demoted me in 2006 I've since been a dwarf planet in your solar system And have five moons that orbit me so nice I'm about to have a rocky core which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets.
this According to the IAU, we're the only ones I'm Haumea I am a dwarf planet And was discovered in 2004 At the Palomar Observatory By astronomer Mike Brown And I have two moons, now here's some more my elongated shape is thought to be because the fast rotations that I make. Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune and the third closest orb to the sun for goodness sake. I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun, also located in the Kuiper Belt you see. Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2. It's about 13,000 miles from me. I appear to be reddish brown in color, but I'm so far away that you can barely see. My name is Eries. I'm in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia, its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run. I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system. If you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of Kids Learning to Planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets. According to the IAU, we're the only ones. I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed My provisional designation's 2000 WR106 I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 by American astronomer Robert S. McMillan during a space watch at KPNO. I have an elongated shape due to my rapid rotation as shown. I was named after the Hindu deity. Varuna is my name. Please say it back to me. I'm 20,000 Varuna. I'm here to teach you correct. I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object. I'm 20,000 Varuna. You can call me Varuna for short. I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report. I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid My elongated shapes due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours January 2001 is when it was first measured The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions I was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019 I may have a satellite astronomer suggest I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach in report we're astronomical objects, brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly. 
We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise. I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn. I'd be my alternative name is Saturnine. You can see, discovered in 1899 by William Pickering. My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing. I'm 10199 Caraclo, an asteroid with rings, the largest confirmed small body of the outer solar system, I sing. I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm 38628, who ya, a minor planet in your system, or trans-Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun. You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system. My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun. I'm 2008 18 DG18 of this, I am sure. A trans Neptunian object, don't leave, there is more. First observed in 2018 by three astronomers. 500 kilometers is my known diameter. My name is Vesta, I'm a minor planet, you now know. I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt. I do show. I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres. I have a mean diameter of 525 kilometers, you see. I'm 2014 UZ224, a trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper belt, I was discovered, I am sure, 635. Five kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varuna, a large trans Neptunian object in the Kuiper belt. I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid rotation. 668 kilometers is my diameter. Well spun. I am Ceres. I am a dwarf planet. I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit. I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure. I am 946 kilometers in diameter. My name is Senna. I am a minor planet on the run. I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun. My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects. I'm 995 kilometers in diameter. Glad we met. My name is Quora and I'm a dwarf planet candidate. But for now, I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object. I reside in the Kuiper Belt. It's so cold here. Burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter. And I'm 2007 OR10. That name, it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of Gong Gong. My furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun. My diameter is 1230 kilometers as I run. Not Maki Maki, a minor planet I be. I'm perhaps the second largest object in the Kuiper Belt you see. I was discovered in 2005 by a team led by Michael Brown and currently 1430 kilometers in diameter and I'm round. Almea is my name, I'm a dwarf planet by fame. Beyond Neptune's orbit, you can find me with some aim. I'm the third largest known trans-Neptunian object. I'm 1632 kilometers in diameter, last I checked. My name is Ceres, I am a dwarf planet as well. And the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system, how swell. Located beyond the Kuiper Belt in a region called the Scattered Disk. My diameter in kilometers is 2326. I'm Pluto. No, I'm a big deal as the largest dwarf planet. I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system till I quit. I am part of the cold and lonely Kuiper Belt. My diameter is 2376 kilometers, so I tell. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans Neptunian we fly. We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size. We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise.
120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I was discovered on September 22nd, 2004 By American astronomers, they're worth three for sure Their names are Henry Rowe, Michael Brown, and Christina Barcoon While working at the Palomar Observatory, this is true My provisional designation's 2004 SB60 I'm a trans-Neptunian object, as you can see I'm located within the Kuiper belt in the outer solar system 850 kilometers in diameter I'm spun 120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object it's real nice to meet ya my provisional designation is 2004 SP60 listen to my song if you want to learn more about me located 44.8 astronomical units from the sun I've been observed 124 times with recovery images on my run. My orbital distance is slightly greater than Pluto. I orbit 272 years of this I will show. I was named after the Roman goddess Latia you have learned. My radius is 281 miles as I turn. I have a single known moon named Actaea here. Its diameter is 190 miles as it appears. Actaea is one third of the diameter of me you see. Michael Brown thinks I'm a dwarf planet but it's debated theory 120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object it's real nice to meet ya my provisional designation is 2004 SP60 listen to my song if you want to learn more about me 120,347 salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object it's real nice to meet ya my provisional designation is 2004 SP60 listen to my song if you want to learn more about me
calcified as a Plutino, which is a trans-Neptunian object. Here we'll talk about the info astronomers collect. I am Quar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate, in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me As we adventure on our space journey on a sea I was discovered on June 4th in 2002 By astronomers Chad Trio and Michael Brown to name the two The Samuel Ocean Telescope did discover me In California at the Palomar Observatory Named after an important figure in mythology A mission in the Southern coast of California Sea. Before my name was approved by the IAU, my provisional designation was 2002 LM60. It's true. My name in full is 50,000 Quora, and I'm roughly half the size of Earth or planet Pluto by far. I am Quora, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora. There is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. My orbit around the sun is nearly circular, you know. About 285 Earth years is one year on my surface, though. Astronomers think my color's moderately red and that I'm 1250 kilometers in diameter, they had said. I'm about six billion kilometers from Earth. It would take a hundred to walk to me for what it is worth. Scientists were shocked to find signs of crystalline ice and ammonia hydrate on my surface. Isn't that nice? I am Quar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora. There is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. I have one known satellite. Its name is February 22nd, 2007 is when you learned of it. Michael Lee Brown did discover my moon from images taken in February 2006. That is true. Wayward size is about 74 kilometers. That's an estimated size of my satellite's diameter. There's more trans Neptunian objects to be found. Maybe you could be the next astronomer to break that ground. I am Quar. I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. On January 5th, 2005, the Caltech Observatory had brought me to life. A team led by astronomer Michael Brown, the biggest dwarf in mass, is what they had found. They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice, but you'd have to visit me to make sure that's precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially. My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest north from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree, if you made it to my surface then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea, it means lawlessness and it is always orbiting me. I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto, yeah Pluto is slightly Take 557 Earth years to orbit the sun When I orbit, I leave the Kuiper Belt on my run My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet My name's Almeya, I am the third dwarf from the sun I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm 
sounds fun. My name's Almea, there is Dembe on who discovered me. It was either Caltech or a Spanish observatory. My first nickname was Santa before the IA you named me. 2008, they changed me to dwarf status officially. Yeah, I am mobile, it's because I rotate at a high speed. One of our system's fastest rotating large objects I be. My I'm spun. I have two moons, Hayaka and Namaka, orbiting me. Namaka is the smaller, Hayaka is large and icy. 3.9 hours makes just one day on my rocky surface. I take 285 Earth years to make one orbit. My surface is believed to have a thin but icy coating. Yeah, I'm unique to other door planets I am gloating. I'm Name. Fun. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. Located on August 19th in 2014, David Gertz and his student team did discover me. David Gertz led a team from the University of Michigan. Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory is located in the Andes in the country of Chile. That's where the Blanco Telescope is housed so it can see using the dark energy camera they attached to discover me. The dark energy camera was built to make a map of distant galaxies in the universe. Now how about that? The team led by David Gertz that had discovered me noticed a small dot moving through space and found it wasn't debris way out in the kuiper belt is where i was found you know i'll tell you more about me first let's sing the chorus though i am 2014 uc224 i'm a new dwarf planet candidate let me tell you some more i may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system listen carefully more information is sure to come I'll be the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system seen. I'm 330 miles wide, even smaller than Ceres. The second farthest body from our sun with a stable orbit. And I'm 8.5 billion miles from the sun I'd met. I take 1100 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a mighty long year on my surface while I'm being spun. The IAUMPC announced to the public I'm here on October. IAU Minor Planet Center will classify me. After that, I will be back to brag about it officially. There's a lot of possible dwarf planets in our solar system. There may even be another planet to discover it may come. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new dwarf planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information. Is sure to come. come. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new dwarf planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. A Maki Maki, I was named by the human race. I'm the third largest dwarf planet.
that I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. I was spotted for the first time in 1801, by Giuseppe Piazzi, the Sicilian. I was named after the goddess of agriculture, the Romans gave me my name in their time and culture. I am the smallest orbiting planet in our solar system, it takes 4.6 years for me to go around our sun. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. NASA's exploring me with a space probe named Dawn, and found a crater named Arcator that had bright spots on. Nobody really knows why those spots are there, what they're from, but with all these scientists I'm sure the answer will come. In 2006 my status changed to a dwarf, before that I was a planet. And I was an asteroid I am Ceres The smallest dwarf planet The closest dwarf to the sun The star that we orbit Yeah, I am Ceres I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars Is where my presence is felt Rain. 
to thank you for learning about the planets on this page. Go subscribe to us, please, no matter what your age.
planets that exist on me Moderate, polar, dry, and tropical are four groups you see Then there is continental, it is the fifth category One climate in no group is highland way above the sea I'm the third planet from the sun, no one is denser than me My axis tilted 23.5, yeah that's my degree 4.5 billion years ago is when I was born, you see I am the Earth, the only planet with organic life With 8.7 million species we all fight to survive You all live on me, so work like bees in a hive And keep this planet really healthy so that we can all thrive My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see No planet in our solar system is bigger than me My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be And I have 62 moons that rotate round me so free The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods Because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars Callisto Europa got a meeting short as they come. It takes 12 Earth years for me to orbit the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be. And I have 62 moons that rotate around me so free. I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 243 Earth is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation, I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye from the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface and my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name due to my brightness above I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system now learn and have some fun
Let's visit the planet of Mars. There's so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. On the fourth planet from our burning sun. And the second smallest planet in our solar system. I have the tallest mountain named Olympus Mons. It's the biggest volcano in our whole system. Phobos and Demos are my two moons. Phobos is larger of the orbiting two. It circles me three times a day and that's true. But it takes 30 hours for Demos to loop. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There's so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. I'm 142 million miles away from the sun and its heat, and that's why I'm chilly. When you're on my surface and you probably freeze, I am a cold negative 81 degrees. 24 hours and 37 minutes long. It's a full day on Mars, so you've learned. This song 687 is the amount of days it takes to orbit the sun for my year to take place. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit well, they follow me 230 Time I take to fly around the Milky Way galaxy. I don't have a solid surface, so made up of gases held together by my own gravity. I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium HE. I'm a star called the Sun. Center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy My core is 25% of my total mass And 27 million degrees My energy is the reason there is life on Earth charge cause I'm totally free my mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system nothing in our systems hot as me I'm a star called the Sun I'm the center system we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun my name is mercury 
I'm the second hottest planet, the closest one to the sun. A year on my surface is 88 days, I'm the smallest but I'm lots of fun. My name is Venus, I'm the hottest planet but the second planet from the sun. I'm the brightest planet in our solar system and I'm too hot for anyone. My name is Earth, and I'm the planet you live on, the third planet from the sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me, cause we're all one. My name is Mars, I am red in color, I'm the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. There are eight planets in the solar system, we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets, now sing along and have some fun. My name is Jupiter. I am covered in clouds, I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant red spot is a raging storm, as for size I'm the biggest one. My name is Saturn, I am brown in color, I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin, they're made of dust and icy chunks. My name's Uranus, I am blue in color, I'm the seventh planet from the sun. Humans have named me the icy planet because I am the coldest one. My name is Neptune, I am blue in color, I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I have too many storms in my atmosphere And I'm the furthest planet from the sun There are eight planets in the solar system We revolve around the sun Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun My name's Hygieia, minor planet, designation 10 Hygieia, a dwarf planet candidate in the asteroid belt, it's nice to meet ya. Discovered by Annibale de Gasparisa on the 12th of April in 1849, I did teach ya. Discovered at the Astronomical Observatory of Caparamonte is where I was first seen. I'm located in the main asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where I am felt I do have a diameter of 270 miles Or 434 kilometers all the while I have a mass which is 3% of the total mass of the asteroid belt And the fourth largest asteroid by volume and mass in your system dealt It's possible I'm a dwarf planet but no one knows for sure So the IAU has classified me as an asteroid until they're assured Observations with a very large telescope in 2018 revealed that I'm nearly spherical in which I'm so keen I have a dark surface when observed from the Earth This is because of my position in the outer main belt, of course. I was named Hygieia after the goddess of health, which is a Greek goddess as well as Roman, I tell. It takes me 2,033 Earth days to orbit the sun at 16.76 kilometers per second. I come as close as 2.79 AU to the sun on my run and reaching as far as 3.49 AU from the sun. I'm 1.78 AU from Earth's orbit at my closest point. There's an extremely wide berth between Hygieia and Earth is my point. Hygieia's small main belt asteroid spectroscopic survey is observed with the 2.4 meter Hiltner telescope primarily. This mass 2 observation indicates I may contain water and iron but wait. Also nickel, ammonia, cobalt, and nitrogen. That's a lot of new information about me for the win. My properties are the least known out of the big four objects in the main belt humans have explored. 